we're back. We're back on Callisto. We're hunting for, you know, whatever the fuck it is. Oh, we're trying to escape. That's right. That's right. I forgot what was happening. I just work here, man. I don't ask questions. Uh, let's see. We got two of these here, door thingies, and yet the door doesn't open. Is it, you know what? I seriously am hating the lack of shoe control. Yeah, this is where we're supposed to be. Where told us to go. Anyway. Anyway. Seriously hating this lack of... Like, I missed the uh, dead space. <clears throat> Tell me where to go thing. It's nice. Very convenient. Okay, well, then I'm just taking it all with me. If you're not going to open anyway, who cares? These are my fuses now. Although, again, I'm pretty certain we're supposed to get through that door. Oh. Poor monster. Not stop. Anyway. And this door's just dead. Okay. Well, thanks, game. It's super. It's super. Can I play with this at all? Nope. Nope. I got my wacky stick. I wish just do something with that. That clearly is supposed to turn on. But like, why is this here, by the way? Two rotating pillars that look definitely like they're there for grinding stuff. In the middle of a hallway. Like, how does that make any sense? Who designed this place? Because, you know, you're bad at your job. So what else could it be? Oh, we're out of bullets. That's fun. Maybe some over her? Oh, the roughest part of any stream. Turning the game on and trying to remember what the fuck we were doing last night. Definitely doing something. I remember doing something. Hey, wait, I bet we can climb this here boxes, can't we? All right, let's go upstairs, shall we? Here's one box. Hey, here's two boxes. All right. Oh, we're carving the thing out the back of the skull. Right, creepy, gross. Oh, it's just his key. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, wait. Is he an inmate? What the fuck could his key possibly get us? Hey, we gotta bring those up here, then. That feels like a bit of an old pain in the ass, doesn't it? Doesn't it? No. Well, bloody farts. Let's go grab him. At least now we have direction. And direction always helps. Oh, there's the wrong button. I was thinking maybe his, his access shit would be let us in. Not really sure doing this makes sense, but you know, whatever. I didn't design the game, I'm just playing it, so. Hey, shit, when robot, there we go. Put that in there. All right. Now you get one more to give. I'll see what this does here. Shit. The door won't open until the power finishes cycling up. Get ready for a fight. Hee <laughs> hee. 
It's fun because it's gross. I dropped that one. Butterfingers! Ow, gross! Oh, we ran out of power. Lame. It's too heavy. No offense, guys, but this is a little rude two on one. So, so go ahead and try to kill me if you're able. Wait, nope. Yep, they're able. They just did. Checks out. Shit. The door won't open until the power finishes cycling up. Get ready for a fight. Save our battery power. Dead. Back up. Fuck, I hit the button too quick. That's on me. There we go. So we took more damage that time, and now we should have plenty of battery power for this. Hey, buddy. Maybe he's just too big. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Dude's dome beats off and he's still coming at me like nothing happened. Ugh. Guys, it's so rude. Nah, but now they're also dead, which makes the rude a little bit easier to take. Oh, God. Just go away. It's a big one. Oh no, it's not. It's a lucky hit, is what it was. It's 
so far though, I read somewhere this game was banned somewhere due to excessive gore, and I'm like, where? It didn't seem any worse than any other game like this. Look for the control room. You'll need to rotate the structure to reach the cell. Uh, come here. Man, I didn't get to loot that corpse, man. I don't care if it's just credits. I want the, I want, the, I want whatever the corpse stuff. <laughs> the corpse stuff. Give me your stuff. There we go. Give me your stuff right now. Right now. Ah, weird. Ow, fucker. I mean, it's a beautiful spiral staircase. Their interior decorator should be commended. It's a, just, it's a beautiful space. It just livens up the whole area. It's a nice open flow, you know what I'm saying? Like, could use a few pot, potted plants, but that's just me. I don't know. Activate shoe controls. Uh, they're called laces. Selection. I select your model. I'm not seeing a whole lot of options I care about here. Energy upgrade. Yeah, we'll do that. Wait, 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 real quick. So we had that issue with inventory earlier. Do we have anything to sell? I didn't think we did, but I just want to make sure. However, now we have stuff to sell, so there's that. Yeah, yeah, check it. Melly picky. Yeah. All right, let's play with the laces. Control panel, so you can open that cell. On my way. Don't worry about the cell on fire. Just you know. Seems kind of fucked up that we're just like, nah. I'm sure he's fine. Like, yeah, we're in a prison, so odds are he's probably a bad guy. But like, also we're here, so. Proving that you belong here, buddy. Let's go ahead and sell this thing before we forget about it. At your service. <laughs> the All American League. We come from cities near and far. Oh, good. No, this is just the one guy. It's just one of the guys that spits shit at us. Oh god, he had a friend. What the fuck is 
head split open. How the? God damn! Take to kill one of these things. Okay, there we go. Hey, buddy. You want a tango? Ow! Okay, that's his motherfucker. Ow! I was holding the dodge button. What more do you want? He just wanted to tongue Josh the Hamel. Oh shit, I had a friend. Okay. Your face gets dented in like that? I don't think you're you're still making noise. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's game over. I don't know. Give me that wide ass buck rack. Okay, so grab attacks, we just can't dodge, I guess. So it seems like they keep some of their skills as a human, because, like, you know, this, this is a security guard, so he would have been trained in combat. And they are some of the best fighters we're running against. Stomped him right on his junk. Oh, there's the, the, the fiery guy. Hey, buddy. You feeling okay? Because you're looking hot. Get it? He's on fire. He's looking hot. Free the inmate. Oh right, that's what we're here for. We need an inmate who can hack? Was that our was that our thing? Was it hack? Also, which cell? How am I supposed to even fucking know? And I need a thing. I don't have a thing. You didn't tell me to get a thing. Is there a thing nearby? Oh, here we go. I found it. He escaped. Elias, are you sure this is the right one? Get me out of here! What are you doing here? What the hell is going on? Did you know it was her? Is this who we're looking for? Yeah, it, well, no, I just knew it was someone who could help us. Then what? Why would I help you? Well, look, I've been here forever. I've got all the information on this place, and I can get us to the hangar. All right, now you, you can call down a shuttle, and he can fly it out. Look, we can do this. We just got to stick together, all right? Thanks. I'll take my chances. A word of advice, though. Don't trust him. He's not what he seems. Amir him. I swear, Jacob, I had no idea who she was. I thought you knew everything about this place. Yeah, I thought I did too. So what now? Now you're trapped in there until the cell docks, which means I can get on the tram, but you can't. Figures. Look, it's okay. I need you to go to waste processing, all right? Contact me once you're there. Data transfer complete. Wait, what the hell is that? It's just a little something to help you out. Just trust in the plan, yeah? I'll see you soon. I don't trust anything at the moment. Uh, Danny Nakamura. Alive. So I'm not what I should do. Oh, she's super young. Like, you know, negative 280. Uh, you know, 273. But anyway, District Zeta Europa. 
5 foot 2, 110 pounds, member of the Outer Way Terrorist Group, demonstrated proficiency in hacking, secure networks and systems, won on numerous outstanding warrants, including suspected involvement in recent incident on Europa, highly dangerous, do not approach. Wow. Uh, well, that's less than ideal, isn't it? Well, what, what do you want me to do? Oh. Play that stinger music like something's happening, but like... I don't feel like you needed a running start for that. I actually feel like that would have been detrimental. Just me. I, I could be wrong. I don't. I don't escape prison cells that often. And most mine are on ground floor, so I'm like. I feel like a rat in a maze! Go. Oh. Hey man, don't be rude! Lost your breath smells. Candies. Yum, yum, yum. All right, we're two. This reminds me of the aliens that come out of people's butts in Dreamcatcher, and that was a terrible, terrible movie, so uh, I'm hoping that's the last thing that reminds me of that. Turns out he's not even talking to us, he's talking to whoever else he's helping escape. Didn't find that vent. Oh no, that wasn't for you, that was, that was someone else. You need to find... Oh right, that wasn't Josh Dammels, Timothy, Timothy Oliphant was the... they look a lot alike. Now you bust on these pipes again with a little sauna going. Take some time off, relax. You deserve it. You've been through a lot. What was that? Uh, someone trying to make a sauna. How the hell do I fight these things? 
This hits me. Maybe we should play baseball and like they jump at us and we, we swing at them. God damn it! Maybe I'll be running low on these things at this point. <laughs> Damn. Ew, that's a sewage pipe. Gross. Oh, it's warm on my neck. Ugh. Drink, appreciate that. Ass. Ow. Oh, give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up! I don't want hugs! Hey man, I don't want to upset you or anything, but your herpes are showing. I'm assuming that's what those girls are. Oh wow, we are out of healing supplies. <laughs> that sucks. I think. Oh, fair. Wait, listen clearly, Jacob. That vent in the far corner will get you to waste processing. Which vent? What corner? Also, you are aware there's a sea of ship between me in there, right? Health, please. No. Credits. Nah, I'm sure we'll be fine. We're only, like, 90% dead. We still got a whole 10% to deal with. Like, we're good. Oh. The Bobots are here. I probably should turn our flashlight off, probably help us sneak a little better. What do you think, bud? No. Unauthorized enemy detected. No, it's not. You're you're seeing things. I'm dead. You can move on now. I totally died, dog. You got me. Fill my Easter egg lore waiting for this robot to move the fuck on. I don't think the robot's gonna move on. I think he'd have something else to do. I don't know. Maybe he's got a robo girlfriend or play some robo games or something. Fucking hang out here. So. Okay, so bright side, downside. We did find health. That, that's the bright side. It was then immediately taken from us. That's the downside. So you know, say it's not all bad.
Wait, listen clearly, Jacob. That vent in the far corner will get you to waste processing. Wagon. Anyway, I just didn't take damage that time. Now we got to try to get by our friendly neighborhood robot. He's a friendly neighborhood robot. But that's the room the robot's in. I don't want to be in the same room as the robot. No. No. Can't see his head from the back. I was thinking maybe we can shoot him from behind. You know? Resuming but over. Critical failure detected. No signal. Just to be safe. Not that I think, you know, punching him do a damn bit of good, but still. He was our friendly neighborhood robot. Our friendly neighborhood robot. But he tried to kill us, so he had to die. Oh, is there another one? Oh no, it's 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 a guy. Okay. Hey, that's gonna be grabbing you, jerk wagon. Also, I don't want to be that guy, but it looks like your boobs hanging out. Now oh, we took his wallet. We're good to go. Oh, that vent. Hey, Frosty. Rage. Yes, all the brains. Delicious brains. <laughs> I assumed they were talking about a vent up there, and I wasn't sure how we were going to get up there. Ha ha. The Glory Gang have risen from their graves. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Contact me with the one, one rich ear, 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 one. What was that? Someone made a song. Crap, what was it? Ah, I can't remember. We're coming to get you, Barbara. I can't. I'm, I'm brain farting. I love the text to speech. This is great. I decided to test it out for poops and giggles when I saw it as an option on the Honestly, PlayStation. I was like, hey. There's a trap in there to keep inmates from And now I've been out. amused by it. It's a reference from Bite of the Living Dead. No, no, yeah, I know. Someone made a song out of it, though. They're coming to get you, Barbara. And I, I can't remember who did it or even what the fucking cadence of the song was. It was hilarious, though. Although they also referenced it in Shaun of the Dead. 
What does this sound like, Ed? Yeah. <laughs> uh, hmm. I don't feel like you read that right. Yeah. <laughs> there was also, 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 Simon Pegg and Nick Frost from Shaun the Dead make a cameo in Land of the Dead. Oh, shit. Which, in my opinion, is one of the worst of the George A. Romero films. Did not care for Land. But they, they, they are in the film. Uh, you might have trouble spotting them, though, because they're in full zombie makeup. One last thing. There's a trap in there to keep inmates from sneaking out. Oh, that's what you were saying. See, I talked through it. I didn't hear it. The gum. They were chained up as, like, amusements. Yeah, it was a photo op. It was hilarious. Jokes now. Why did the chicken cross the road to get away from the demon deer? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, hold on. Hold on. I must have too soon. <laughs> They're coming to get you, Barbara. Hyphen, no more kings. Thank you, Brad Wolf. Appreciate you. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Uh, we got a we got a donation notification. I'm just trying to. To, to read it. Doing this from the PlayStation 5 is like one of the most inelegant ways to do it, but okay, well that didn't fucking work, did it? Just go to the Extra Life page. Yeah. That text they send you is always the I worst. See. Anyway. Hi C, I love Hi C. Five dollars from Sean, thank you sir! Appreciate you my friend! They should do like. I mean, maybe it's a terrible idea. Maybe it wouldn't upset parents. Well, I am a parent, it wouldn't upset me. But like, they should do like, you know. High C brain goo flavor! Like, I'd buy that. Hey, don't be rude. Jerk wagon. I'm gonna assume we need to get through there. Can we make it? Can we beat it? They did. Brains flavor probably wouldn't sell well. Well, I mean, you don't make it actually taste like. Ah! To be fair, I don't know what brains taste like. Could be delicious, but like, you don't make it taste like actual brains. You know what I'm saying? Like, it'd be like strawberry or something, raspberry maybe. I don't know. Obviously, but it sounds unappetizing. <laughs> I mean, fair. Fine, whatever. I mushrooms, mushrooms. I, first off, I hear that mushrooms have a similar cellular structure to brain matter, but also they look kind of the same. I know at uh, Halloween Horror Nights Universal, they'll sell a drink, a mixed drink called a Dead Walker. I made it out of the checkpoint. It's like a fruity pineapple drink. Now get to the window. Tell us what too. you see. I see snow. Lots of snow. The only juice I like is lemon. Everything else I dislike. You don't want to get caught in the middle of that. I see it. I got eyes on the hangar too. Yeah, that's our ticket out of here. Yeah, ran plenty of jobs out of that place. Feels like a lifetime ago. We will get you back to that life. You just gotta stick to the plan, which means you need to get your ass to the habitat dome. I don't know, I said this would be easy, but trust, I've got your back. What is that supposed to mean? Look, I used to work down there, collecting research, you might say. I made some recordings. The software I uploaded to your call will trigger them when you get close. Just follow them and you will get to the dome. And then what? I'll pick you up at the tram station. Easy peasy. All right, I'll be in touch. You don't know I else to God. No, you won't. You're going underground, man. No signal till you reach the dome. Is there anything else you haven't told me? Hello, just get a move on, yeah? There should be a hash nearby. And, uh, good luck, Jacob. Yeah, you too. Now, now I'm, like, honest to God, not incapable of telling the difference between Timothy Oliphant and uh, Josh DeHamel. Like, they are, they're becoming inseparable in my brain. They're coming to get you, Barbara. 
Down the hatch! <laughs> Tim was so good in the crazies and the Mandalorian. And uh, the good place, which when I saw this face and heard this voice, that's immediately what I thought of. But then it's not. So was it? Which one was trans? Was Josh DeHamel was Transformers, or was that Timothy Elephant too? I can't. They're the same guy. I don't know why he's using two different names. He's just trying to confuse me. The only reason I remember it was Timothy Elephant. Many horror or sci-fi movies, to be honest. The only reason I remember it was Timothy Elephant and uh, The Good Place is because of the judge saying, "You made me an elephant." <laughs> all right, hold on. I got I got to settle this in my brain, or it's gonna bother me all damn night. All right. So, so we we know we've been discussed what. Oh crap! Maybe maybe. Hold on, let's, let's IMDb this first. Maybe I'm mistaking it, and it is Timothy Elephant playing this guy. I don't know. I'm brain farting somewhere, and no, this is Josh Duhamel. I think I just pictured a different character actor altogether when I was trying to think of him. I, I don't know, my, my brain's popping. Let's see. What is Josh known for? Uh, Mighty Ducks. Ew. Uh, Night of the Animated Dead. I didn't know that was a thing. I'm going to have to look that up. Jupiter's Legacy, which actually I kind of liked. Did not get a good receiving, and it's already been canceled. But I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. I know he's like in something huge, but Taco Bell, Web of Fries 2. What the fuck? Uns uh, Taco Bell, Web of Fries. What the fuck? It is him from Transformers. Chips, apparently. Please Taco Bell web of fries. Right. I mean, I, I know they, they did fries, and they were actually pretty damn good fries, but, like, did a TV show movie? But, movie 43, which was ridiculous. Did he do, did he do Transformers? I don't know. I believe Tur it's a commercial in the style of a trailer. I don't, you usually don't get credits on IMDb for that though. I know they did those, they did those very amusing commercials where it was like some kids with a giant robot fighting Kaiju. It was cheesy as hell, but I loved it. Yee -yee. I don't know. That's the Choose wrong button. Yours. The power is yours! They're coming to get you, Barbara. And now it's removing safeties. Target be injured upon impact. Y'all get that, that's fine. Have a united day. Thank you, sir. All right. Oh, another beautiful thing. Like, you, you gotta admire the architecture. Just anywhere with spiral staircases. It's got that classic feel, you know what I'm saying? Like, like a beautiful library built in a sewer. But still, a library nonetheless. And the ladder, the ladder does kind of ruin the classic feel. Saying. Maybe we'll meet the Callisto version of the Ninja Turtles. Finally, 
finally got transferred to West Processing. But this place is a kill. Rumor has it though, there's a way out from here. Main line that comes off a tank I haven't seen the new Turtles movie. Red pipe. And track these right down to it. I just need to follow it back. Oh, okay, we gotta move this here somewhere, so we gotta follow that there red pipe. It goes through there. That doesn't help me. Uh, let's see. I haven't seen the latest one. Although, again, I... So many things that get bagged on that I feel are... don't deserve it. Like, the last two live-action movies with Megan Fox, I thought were really freaking good. And they just got bagged on hard. Ooh, what's up on top of that thingy there? I like the new Little Mermaid a lot. Haven't seen that one either. But then again, I'm not a big Disney fan. For the most part. Inventory full. Well, fart case. So let's go back. Go. I mean, how, nah, I don't think we're that far away from the machine where I can go sell this. Um, I did. I don't understand Disney's new thing with live action, right? Like live action Lion King, starring a bunch of CGI animated lions, which officially makes it a cartoon with real backdrops, I guess. So it's not it's not live action, but yeah. You know. The same with Little Mermaid. Like, we're gonna make a live-action Little Mermaid, which is supposed to be set under the water, so... You know, it's gonna be too many special effects, and it's gonna be basically all animated. It's, to be fair, Snow White in general sucks. It's just a bad story. In my opinion. Please make a selection. Why make new ideas when we can make money? I mean, fair. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm a bit of a hardcore left winger, so yeah, no, I despise capitalism. I despise it in all of its shapes and forms. And I think capitalism is one of the worst possible things who ever happened to our mermaid and giving more character to Prince Eric made me happy. I will say, when I was when I was younger, I did actually enjoy the crap out of that film. But like I said, I just didn't understand the point of making it live. Aladdin 2, I didn't. It didn't need to be live. I don't feel like it adds anything to the narrative, you know. My wife's favorite is Beauty and the Beast because she loves Belle, but I maintain that Beast is actually the princess. I wish they would do twisted versions of the stories at least instead something new. Right, dude, do like a new feed. I'd, I'd be okay with that. Oh, speaking of twisted, I've got to watch the new Twisted Metal. I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to. One day. I'll get around to it one day. I've heard good things about the t t Twisted Metal TV series. The musical by Team Starfit, where they make Jafar the good guy. The actress who plays Snow White has been totally bashing it on tour, which is a weird flex. Like, you're getting paid millions. I mean, yeah, like, uh. Uh oh. Ah! You stop! Bad! Bad monster! Bad monster! Yeah, no, if you're, if you're getting paid for something, it's a little weird to be like, this thing sucks. I mean, Megan Fox kind of did that with Transformers, but I didn't disagree with her. She was like, her comment was, let's face facts, if you're coming to these movies, you ain't coming here for the, uh, the plot or something to that effect. 
And Michael Bay got all buttered about it, and it's like, dog, she's right, though. Like, you didn't put a plot in these movies. It doesn't seem like you had a lot of respect for this property. People are just watching for pretty robots. Also, can we take a second? Like, this is gross, right? I don't know why it's green. I'm pretty sure we're just wading through human excrement. Just gross. Gross. This is gross. What are we doing? I don't want to go through there anymore! It's just pudding. <laughs> I don't want to go over there anymore! <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> run! Oh, we can't run because it's too gooey. Maybe it's full. <laughs> Maybe it's full. I didn't want to die! It, it's very pretty for being very disgusting. Naming the monster Belfager, Belfi. Entry twenty one C. Guards on rotation. I've got to make this quick. Here's a pipe leads to tank. Belfi, the little monster. I don't see any access. I've got to find a way inside. And we're not one hundred percent sure it's little, because it did look like there was some connective tissue holding it to the the roof area. So it could have been deceptively large. You missed, you suck. That's why dad likes me more, Tim. Okay, when I said stomp on him, I didn't mean it's nuts. Like, goddamn. It's messed up, bro. Aim for his belly or something, Jesus. I'm climbing a ladder, the ladder's for me. A second old ladder. Now I have to pee. Also, did the thing even have nuts? I mean... <laughs> okay, look, so that's a fair question. We know the thing that it used to be did. But the thing that it's become... I don't know, dog. I thought you did. Dr. Caitlin Mala. Three hours post-release. The rate of evolution is staggering. Organic camouflage, biophagic secretions, as if it's adapting to the environment. Or adapting the environment to itself. Damn you, Cole. What have you did done? Did the main really just say, where are we going all now? Yeah, yes he did. <laughs> Which is messed up because I was counting on him. So they released this thing. They released it and monitored it. And like, look, man, I'm a man of science, but uh, also, just fuck scientists. Just every once in a while, every once in a while, someone's got to say it. Fuck scientists. Okay, so we could... I mean, we need to go up there, I think. Cause, yeah, there's the red pipes. That's where we need to advance. But there's quite a pause. Can we move this one? Oh, I don't see a thing where we can grab it. No. Uh. My science teachers have always been super smart and kind, food. Hey, yeah, yeah, but whenever anything goes wrong in a video game, it's because the scientist is like, Hey, what will happen if we do this? <laughs> and, like, you know, everything goes... Like the, uh, in Dead Space, which this is kind of a spiritual successor to, the, uh, immortal, evil necromorph developed by Dr. Mercer, just being an a-hole and seeing what happens when he exposes certain people to certain shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, to be fair, I don't think most science scientists would develop horrible crimes against nature. Also, I think I just climbed inside of some giant demon's asshole. Look at this. What, where are we? <laughs> like one of them loved Bella Porch and played my favorite songs on guitar. He also was a streamer, and he had a friend who slept with a bear. There we go. 
I don't know why you went back into the cave, but whatever. I sleep with a critter. Be right back. <laughs> Just because nobody knows what I mean when I say Leave critter. The rest of the message, please. I said bear kidney. Bear kidney. Gross. <laughs> like a stuffed bear kidney? Like is it plush or is it like legitimately like out of a bear? I sleep with a critter. His name is Spike. Hold on, I'm trying to get these down close. There we go. Cute. Oh, <laughs> actual sealed bear kidney. Weird, weird. Okay, that's that's here you go, buddy. That's that's for four months. Mm. Mm. I'm not saying they, they should talk to someone, but I'm not saying they shouldn't either. It's a, it's a little odd. Be mine. Mm. 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 So mine is a critter, a crite, technically. They're called crites from the movie Critters, which is one of my favorite movies. I love shitty he horror films. His wife made him throw the kidney out. Good for her. Oh, that's the thing that, that's the thing we saw come down from the ceiling, I think. And it's gone. Oh, my down. That's a staple from the 80s. Yeah, it is. I fucking love Critters. Critters, Puppet Master. Trisha. Toss the pop star who made a cameo in that. And, uh, Critters, the first one? Oh, no, there's a, gosh. I don't remember a pop star. There's a guy that plays a pop star in the movie that one of the bounty hunters takes the form of, but it was a fake pop star. Uh, it's also got Billy Zane as the boyfriend. Ah! Ow! Jackass. Ow. That's rude. The sequel is a Playboy Centerfold. My angel is a sinful. The sequel's not quite as good. The first one's phenomenal, the second one's okay, the third one is Leonardo DiCaprio's first movie. This boyfriend you just killed, his name was Lucas. Well, to be fair, Lucas started it. I think he thinks me and Patricia have been talking, but like, I don't, I don't, I haven't saying a word to her, I don't, you know. We're just friends, we just work together. Billy Zane needs to be in more stuff. I loved the Phantom as a kid. That was him. Holy shit. JC construction. Looks like it's cross-wired. Draws extra power. That's why it needs two fuse boxes. Wait. What the hell was that? You're <laughs> dead. Um. So we got one. We got to find the other one. <laughs> Yeah, The Critters 3 was the first movie for Leonardo DiCaprio when he was like, I want to say he was like 12 in that. Um, it's also the one where one of the Critters eats a can of bean and farts on a stove and lights his butt on fire, which is fucking hilarious. And so Critters 4 sucks. Sick and going to die. Critters 4 is just terrible. Just terrible. Which is, okay, so for those of you not alive during that time frame, all of these old horror movies did a our killer in space, oh, right? Like I got a raid and fade. <laughs> Alright, Gory, well, thank you for stopping by, buddy. Appreciate you. I need to keep following that red light. But like all these movies did a Goodbye. All these movies did a our character in space. Like there was a Friday the thirteenth in space. There was what are they called? Hellraiser in space. But Critters is like the only one that should have worked because they are legit space aliens. That's where they're from. They're from outer space. And that movie was just absolutely trash. Just completely terrible. Just horrible. It sucks because I love these guys. They're cute. <laughs> My 
not there yet. Also, where am I going? The floor's gonna collapse, isn't it? No, okay, never mind. Wee! I made it! S somewhere. Sounds like there's an arcade machine in here. I call monsters cute and names to cope. <laughs> See, I, I grew up on crappy horror films, so <laughs> it's my jam. Is that a $28 can of soda? What the? $40? $64? What the fuck? Gotta hate capitalism. What's in the box? Ah, uh, damn it. Inventory's full again. Yeah, I've got a long list of, like, favorite horror movies and horror characters just because I find them adorable. Like, my favorite style of horror monster are the ones where they made a puppet for it and they intended for it to be horrifying and it has turned out being adorable. Like, these little guys in their film are liter legitimately little hand puppets. That's, I've got a regular who, she just, she larks. She refuses to watch horror games. It's fine. It's spooky month, I gotta play spooky games. Also, I love horror. Horror, horror not horror. Horror. Get, we gotta make sure we get that er in there. Watch people play spooky games, but movies, Well, another one of my favorite things is scary movies that just turn out being terrible. So they're not scary. Puppet Master is a great example. Little tiny marionettes that are possessed and go around killing people. They're absolutely friggin' adorable. I love them so much. I love YouTube videos about scary stuff and true crime sometimes. I do watch a lot of true crime. I get annoyed at some of the, uh, the channels. But I do love true crime. Want me to tell you a weird story? Sure. I'm easy. Credits. Get it up, 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 die. Was Friggin alien pimples. And they scanned my teeth using like a new device they got. So my teeth were on this big screen in the dentist office. The dentist was just staring at my teeth. So I look at her and am like, you must really enjoy teeth in a joking way. Please tell me she made a joke. <laughs> like a, God, yes, because <laughs> I would have. Then she just goes off about how much she loves teeth and collected them as a kid. Okay, my joke's funny. Someone having a tooth collection is like, you didn't, you didn't pull them, did you? Like, do, do you have victims? So nice, so I was like, I'm glad you got the job then. She's got a long string of victims out there. They went to a party and like woke up the next day toothless. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think someone slipped me something. I collected many teeth. 
<laughs> All sizes. <laughs> Adult, child, it didn't matter. So many teeth. We're talking about cute dogs and bam, oh yeah, I love teeth. I find them so fascinating. I mean, weird. But also, like, you know, we need people who, who love that sort of thing, so. And it ain't gonna be me. I'm not like disgusted by teeth or anything. I just I don't care about them one way or the other. They're there. They do their job. I find it funny if cycle complete. Yeah. We need people to fall in love with random weird shit. It's what makes society a roll. Excellent choice. For me it's plot lines for video games and mythology and Basically, I've got no marketable skills, but I do enjoy voice acting, doing weird voices. That's, you know, a thing. She was saying I had pretty teeth, lol, which was funny cause I've only heard bad stuff about my teeth before. Have a united day. No, no, you take her word for it. She knows what she's talking about. Oh, wow, well, me too. I do fan works and stuff. Hey, wait, what? Press the R1 button to perform a heavy melee attack. That seems opposite everybody else. I have a few scripts to do cause I got COVID. That sucks, I'm sorry. I do it. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Oh god, look at them all! Oh, get them! Get them! Kill them all! <laughs> Sorry, buddy. That, that's fine, you're fine. Okay, that's the only monster I won't compliment. That was gross. It reminded me a great deal of envy from Metal Alchemist. Oh! <laughs> oh! I don't know. It tickled me. <laughs> so, do what did? Because we had a turny handle in there, but it wouldn't let us turny the turny handle. So, like, are we good now? Do we go? I mean, that can't be right. There'd be something we got to do in here, right? 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 Right! Well, bloody farts. Havel. Enough of that. Publicist. It seems no one outside of Florida knows it. I mean, I know it, but I'm in Orlando. So... <laughs> Which is great, come ELU time, because I don't have to go anywhere. I just drive to whatever the hotel they have the, the event at. <laughs> they need a bloody map in this game. And an objective marker, so I know where I'm going. I love Publix, though. That's partly because it's on my way home from work. So I decided what I'm going to cook while I'm at work. And then I stop at Publix on the way home and grab my stief. My stief. Nope, dude, 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 Josh, come on, buddy. Chicken nuggets. Come on, buddy. I do enjoy their popcorn chicken. Yes. Dude, dude, dude. There you go. I also like their fried chicken. Cookies. I also like their fried chicken, but I resolved never to buy it again because my wife doesn't care for it. One of the kids doesn't seem to care for it too much, although she'll eat it. Uh oh, uh oh, and uh, <clears throat> the other two kids refuse to eat leftovers, so we end up with a ton of chicken in the fridge that just sits there and goes bad. Plus, the kids steal all the friggin' drumsticks, and who the hell wants a breast? I want the drumsticks. 
All right. Ah! You just stuck. Oh fuck! I love their potato cell too. Ah! Suck it! Suck it! Drumsticks are the best part. I love coleslaw. Same man. Because with drumsticks, there's no tiny ass little fucking bones hiding somewhere waiting to get. Ugh, I don't like bones. It's one of my brain worms. His bones gross me the fuck out. I'm always terrified I'm gonna like snap one off and swallow it. He's gonna stab me in the throat and kill me. Or something. I didn't say it was a logical fear, alright? It's just, you know, it's the thing that's there. It's kind of like how when I was growing up back in the 80s, they had all those, all, like they bombarded us with commercials about salmonella. <laughs> Clean your countertops to avoid salmonella. So now I've got this massive, I'm like... I'm not eating meats. I'm scared of choking and too for too long. Now I've got this massive conniption about salmonella and I'm terrified of, well I've gotten over, I used to be for the longest time I was terrified of cooking chicken. Because I was terrified I was going to kill everyone in my damn family. Uh, rude, I was doing something. Stay with me, but with other things. Well, I mean, your head's gone. What am I supposed to shoot at? Oh, why is my inventory always full? Oh, thanks. There has to be a way to upgrade our friggin' inventory size. Jerk. Other jerk. Third jerk. Also, I don't. I don't want to body shame. What the fuck happened to your foot? Is it growing a second smaller foot? Oh, that's weird. Okay, that's just normal foot. Mm, that ass though. Although it does appear to have sealed up. I don't, it, there was an exposed butt. I had to make a joke about it. Come on. <laughs> Expect me to ignore that? Uh, do we, we don't have a fuse. <laughs> Now that zombie is stacked. <laughs> See them cheeks? They be clapping. <laughs> oh, there's our fuse. <laughs> I would hope you see what's going on. We came here with a very specific thing in mind, dog. Like. Ah, crap, he's got a friend! He's got a friend! This guy doesn't seem too bright. Like the main or the zombies? Because, I mean, at least the zombies have an excuse. Ah. It's cause the game is too dark. Ah. <laughs> the main. What's up, love? I mean, it's just a little bloodshed and... It's just a little bloodshed and zombies and... Oh, you had to walk away from your screen. Yeah. Okay. Where, where's that? There's that noise! I, ew! It's pretty god he's just coughing kidneys at me. Oh, no, you can definitely see the... Like, 
Glenn, I appreciate that you're the guy who came up with Dead Space, but like, when you said you were doing a new game, I figured it was because you didn't want to do Dead Space. <laughs> This is pretty much just Dead Space with more of a melee focus. Right, I miss my tools. I like the Dead Space tools. I thought those were fun. I miss my plasma cutter, and that's pretty much the only gun I use. But still, I miss my plasma cutter! No legs for you. Well, now we got inventory space, but we just have no healing. So, is this like a prison jumpsuit? Yes. Our character was flying something to and from this prison, and then someone hijacked his ship, and he crash landed, and then they locked him up. And that's about as much explanation as I've gotten so far. Oh, and then installed the thing in the back of his neck. Is he in an object? You only care about if he's about to die Well, we've been able to cut it out of other people to gain access to doors and. Mm -hmm. Get data files, which doesn't make a lot of sense. Seems like the worst place to hide a tape recorder is in the back of your fucking skull. It monitors my thoughts. <laughs> There's the save point from Dead Space, see? Very chill. There's the EV chargers, which some for some reason are everywhere. I don't know. I haven't seen a single fucking car, but... And it's weird to have it in the hallway, because, like, how are you going to get the car in here? But they have scooters. Well, that's fair. Ooh, or segways. Mm -hmm. And there's the devil's asshole I appear to be climbing through. Why is it curved? I have no idea. I mean, it's an ass. Well, I guess the maybe it's an intestine. Oh, uh, no, I remember this room. This is where the, the testy is uh, the, 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 the technical guy's going to yank it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just because it looks like Dead Space doesn't mean it is Dead Space. Okay, well, I like to explore, and I wanted to make sure we'd, we'd looked everywhere, but apparently we have. Uh, it's plugged in! Unplug it! <laughs> it's a ribbon cable. They're not even hard to unplug. Really no reason to cut that. Anyway. Okay, so I wanted to go this way before we went through that other door to make sure that I wasn't you know, skipping stuff, but like, now I'm thinking this is the way we were supposed to go, so we should go through that other door. I miss having objective markers, damn it! It's objectively a good idea. Mm -hmm. That was a terrible joke, but I stand by it. I don't give a fuck. Wall truck control! One terrible joke that you don't stand by. That's rough, I stand by most of my terrible jokes. Mm -hmm. Six Burger King foot lettuce. The last thing you want in your Burger King burger is someone else's foot fungus. But as it turns out, ew! What? Ew! <laughs> but as it turns out, that is what actual Burger King lettuce is. I'll be honest. Burger Kings are usually such piss poor service that I'm just happy if I get something that resembles what I ordered. Wait a minute, you guys, Storbus, talk about that. Apparently, most of the Burger Kings in Central Florida are owned by a specific franchise that is famously terrible. So it's entirely possible, if we went to a different state, their Burger Kings <laughs> might not suck as bad as others. I believe it when I seize it. I mean, it's gotta be a top ten for a reason, right? I don't know. I, like, I used to like Burger King back in the day, but I... I remember distinctly, I like to go on there for breakfast with my dad on the weekend and he was like running around and taking a dollar to eat here and everything. Because there's a big fluffy cinnamon, cinnamon roll that I got to eat and all I wanted was that and a thing of orange juice. Yes, I wanted icing and orange juice in the same meal. But question me, I, I was a weird child. I paid only cause of play place. No, I've, I've seen the website for the, the McDonald's thing. 
No, like I used to love Burger King, like, but I used to actually get what I fucking ordered. That has not <laughs> been the case. It's so goddamn like, yeah, let me get a. Uh, the app a couple of times since that's happened. Broken. We've been able to use apps for orders. Broken. <laughs> That's funny enough. Yeah, the app for McDonald's does fucking break on me periodically. But no, I place an order for something on no, no, the freaking app. Because of how often the ice cream machines break, they literally, oh. someone made a website specifically to track whether your local ice cream machine works or not. <laughs> I mean, I'd have to know about it to report it, but yeah. Um... But, uh, no, I, I used to love, like, back in the day, Burger King, I got what I ordered, and I enjoyed it, and it was good, and now it's like... Yeah, there's something wrong with my chicken sandwich. Oh, what well, appears to be the problem? I ordered a Whopper. That's that's the first problem. I don't. The other time, like I place an order on mobile and I get to the drive-through and they're like, "Yeah, we don't actually have any of that." It's good. <laughs> what? Yeah, we're out of that. We're out of beef. We're out of fries. We're out of whatever. And like, it's literally the basics. That's literally the basics. What the fuck? That's people being lazy. But, I mean, what do you expect when they're all paid for shit? No, uh, yeah, we're out of stuff. McDonald's milkshakes Just we want to go home. Flurry ice creams are actually Did you know that they're food. actually... The base is not ice cream, but it's frozen yogurt. Don't ruin it for people. What are you doing? I like it because I'm lactose intolerant. I mean, that's fair. I had, I had to wonder why, it, like... When people were like, okay, it's made of real ice cream. And I was kind of aware that I was lactose intolerant, but I wasn't really out about mm. it yet because I was shy. There was like an element of like, yeah, their ice cream doesn't hurt me. I kind of believe you that it's not really ice cream. Except that it tasted good and it had like the right consistency and shit. And I've had places like with cheap ice cream where it like it's just chipped ice cream. Someone out as lactose intolerant. It was good. Yes, I did. Yeah. Honestly, I'm more embarrassed of that than I am of being queer. <laughs> I don't see why you should be embarrassed by either, but okay. Please make a selection. Chunk shit. Chunk shit. You may need to sit down. Say, I'm not lactose intolerant, but I could tell the texture. The texture of the McDonald's ice cream versus. Doesn't matter. See, she's lactose intolerant and ace. Hey, buddy, you got a little thing on here. <laughs> Just, it's right there. It's right. Get, no, you know what? You, you can barely see it. It's fine. I want you to make a list of things when this game is over of things that you didn't also do from Dead Space. Shoot the testicles. Wow, the guy is so surprised by the lack of ah! Rude! Those testicles. Oh, what the ever loving fuck was that? <laughs> it's so gross! And now we're gonna for this. So far, there's fewer variants than there are in Dead Space. Mutated enemies have more health and stronger attack. Shoot the exposed testicles to quickly kill the enemies. There were fewer variants in the, um, fucking. First gen space, anyway. Well, you have the Maybe aliens. Boys, boys. I'm sorry, they're all aliens. You had the babies, you had the. <laughs> you had the babies, you had the fatties, you had the skin, skin fleshy things. Like little tiny fleshy things. Then you had the big fleshy mutators. Oh, the mutators, yeah. I feel like you're stabbing way too deep, dog. I don't. Nah, eh, whatever. He's knife wrench. You do you. Knife wrench for kids. What are we doing? He has a knife wrench. Is that like an actual tool? Just shoot the tentacles for smashing with your baton. It's the only way. Otherwise, they just get bigger, stronger. What are we doing this for? I don't know. What are we doing? What? What are, what are we doing? Thinking about knife wrench was that's correct. We were in our. What were we stabbing that dude in the back of the skull for? And it was to take out the little green thing that's in the back of my skull. But again, it, it doesn't look that big. I don't, and also to I don't uh, think you have to go that deep, dog. You know, you... main character's bloodlust, obviously. I'm starting to wonder about that. Cool. Like, huh. God, Lexa, what's, what's 
That was Ron's fucking number. You know, need to shoot the tentacles. So I just want to call him next. He's got numbers on the back of his suit. I mean, I'll shoot the testicles, but I don't see how that helps us. It seems rude. I and mean, whatever, I'll do it. No. Damn it! How do I open my inventory? Four, six, oh, one. Okay. Now, yeah, we're, we're full on inventory. I've oh. got to find a way to expand my bloody inventory. I've got the laundry slip in my pocket. Do you have any laundry you want to wash with the nurses? Uh, tomorrow! Okay. Although I need to do put stuff in the dryer tonight. Grip. I keep hoping there'll be a I way like to that. expand inventory here and I can't fucking find Grip. it. Grip. 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 One of these days, you're also going to glue my golden tent back together, right? Uh, who says I got to do it? Please? You said you would. No, I said we could glue it back together. Oh, well, I said I would do it. Sure. Grrr. No, but it don't have to be that you're already less attractive. <laughs> Grrr. Oh, oh. Did you just do a flashy thing? Did, okay, no, you didn't. I bet the main guy's name is Dave or Joseph or something. Oh, he goes through! I forgot what his name was, honestly, because, you know, he, he's played by Josh J. Hamill, so I just can call him Josh. This game? Huh? Oh, this game? Yep. Josh J. Hamill is the actor from Transformers and a few other things. That just reminds me so much of our boy from the end of the good place. Cheating? No, uh. Jake. Timothy Elephant. Oh. Like, that, I think they look alike personally. It's just Josh and Hamill's the older Timothy Elephant with more facial hair. Is he the one that was in the space show? No, that's Josh, that's Josh Brolin. No, Josh and Hamill's the, the first Transformers film, the military guy that gets caught up in everything. My favorite voice actor is Josh. Oh, Keaton. like the actual soldier on the fucking desert. Yeah. Okay, for a second I was like, I you talking about the. Stanley Tucci. I was like, that is not Stanley I got so caught in my head earlier that I couldn't tell the difference between him and Timothy Oliphant that I had to fucking IMDb to figure out who was in what roles. I see it in his face in this angle. Wow, they make Boy's well, currently covered in stuff. What? The, the, what? That thing is double jointed at the least. Look at that show off. I can do that too if I tried. I just don't want to. Hey, do you have an even number of joints? Oh, or... Hi, buddy. That's right. Yeah, yeah this guy was in uh, the Taco Bell Love of Fries. Nah, no, it's a real project this guy was in. We found that out on the uh, IMDb page. And he was in a sequel. Yep. We don't know what the fuck it is, but he was Probably in it. Probably one of those weird ad campaigns they were doing where, like, the fries were like, oh, oh god, do you remember when they were, like, talking about them as being, like, seditious, and they were sounding like little Christian groups who were, like, secretly having fries? I don't remember that one. I remember the, uh, the kids, the animated one where the kids were piloting a giant oh, robot yeah. against kaiju. And the kaiju was there for their fries. For that local way, bitch. Alright, now that I've injected some ecto cooler directly into my bloodstream, no, I'm ready to fight. Mount 2. Look at green. Ah! Ecto cooler was famously green too. Thought Slime even said that's what's is, behind it. Is ecto cooler famous? Uh, yes. To people my age. <laughs> so fuck yourself. <laughs> uh, I might have to. Mountain Dew fries. I don't know who yeah. Ew! What? <laughs> Mountain Dew fries. Are you talking about like a ah! wait, are you envisioning like a greenish colored like dusting, like the nacho I'm assuming the like, Doritos nacho seasoning is all over the, the chips, like that kind of thing, but for fries and Mountain Dew flavor? I'm assuming you... like potato fries dipped in Mountain Dew. Oh no no no. Or, ooh. or like the the really shitty thing where people were like uh marinating their chicken in NyQuil. Like you're gonna marinate the potatoes in Mountain Dew? Oh, wait, go back, go back, go back. Who the fuck was marinating their chicken? In NyQuil? 
It was made a thing. I don't think it was smart. I don't think Look people enjoyed that experience, but yes. people did it. Not the recipe book? Access hatch open. Uh, I should probably pause so I don't get randomly attacked. I mean, Mountain Dew. You deserve to get attacked if you recipe apparently. Book. The big book of Mountain Dew recipes. So you're telling us you've had the Mountain Dew fries? A hoax. No one has died from. Oh, I don't know if anyone died from it, but I doubt it tasted good. Or they didn't do knife is what you're telling me. I don't know if it's if Either it's, way. If it's uh, Sounds terrible. Chicken that makes you sleepy, then maybe. Nope, not gonna make that joke. Oh Easy. come come on, do It's their actual website where I'm finding this recipe book. I yeah. have the but like they don't actually show okay here we go. Mountain Dew grilled cheese sandwich. Cherry they have Mountain Dew cherry pie. Okay, I can see that one though. I've seen soda used. Oh, page look! Goods. Someone finally found a use for Mountain Dew Code Red. <laughs> and you still have to add sugar to it. <laughs> wow. Uh, no, had... you, you've ever seen like people get the box cake mixes and use like something like Sprite or whatever instead of water and oil? No. You never did that? No. Oh. I've had the alcoholic Mountain Dews. Those are fun. Man, are you sure you were as poor as I was growing up? Am I trash here? We didn't have... My mom's a terrible cook. Yeah, I'm, it's a box mix and a two liter of soda. Like, how, how good is that? She never even did that anything that complicated. Two I mean, maybe there's... It was mainly pork chops and rice and things of that nature. I'm gonna have to make you some Sprite cake, I guess. Not Sprite, obviously, but the store brand lemon lime soda. Mm, girl, you must. My ex, my ex wife burned uh, water. But in what? But how? And in what? She also hates that I still tell that story. Are you being cereal like hot oh. cereal like oatmeal? Uh oh. Taking oh, oh, that's when I get infected. Poor guy. Take it with you. You earned it. Man doesn't keep his kill. It's my, wrong it's my lucky zombie's hand. Woohoo! No, it's like the fucking death spot that he's gonna keep. Oh. Hang on to it. Oh, sweetie. You see, my, my ex burned water because she went to make ramen and then forgot she was making ramen and just left the stove running. So when I came home, we had to throw a pan away. Buddy, are you seriously looking at your hands grossed out after all the shit you've killed? That's what's gross? I mean, I was also just crawling through sewage a little bit ago. I'm also a tactile person, so like, you've seen me completely lose my shit when my food has the wrong shit on it at work. He is kind of stupid. He is kind of stupid. Well, I have more Dead Space safe spots. Thank you. Where are we going? This man does not want you to forget. Yeah, that was literally a quote earlier from before he walked out here. He's like, where am I going? Well, fuck, buddy. If you don't know, I don't know. Like, goddamn. I guess forward, what? <laughs> the only way out. Okay, so before, we were climbing through a demon's colon, and now we're climbing through a robot's colon. Which is weird, because why do robots have colons? Let me give you more hands. Pressure check complete. You're really important. Really One side. My eye. Damn. Got so much. Hey, eh, someone flushed. Oh, sorry, here. Someone flushed! This is fun. This is like uh, Tomb Raider stuff. Has a Colin fetish. I mean, obviously, other games have done it. But Whee! I don't remember doing this in Dead Space. Uh oh. No, this is not a thing that was in Dead Space. It wasn't a. Uh... Ow! Fuck! Tomb Raider. Uh, Tomb Raider. Yeah, that's what it said. Oh, okay. Maybe that's what this is. It's not a colon. We're going womb raiding. Shut up. Oh, what? <laughs> Well, speaking of Mountain Dew, this does kind of look like a river made out of Mountain Dew. Oh, that looks sharp! Oh! Okay. You know, if it weren't for the possibility of death, this would be super fun. I, I kind of want to do this. Some water park needs to build this ride. Right, like a wipeout style uh, super slide? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like uh -oh. missing half the detail. Oh, God. Avoid it. Mountain Dew River sounds poke. Oh! Oh, ow, fuck! 
<laughs> Ouch. My dome. Oh my, my beautiful dome. You think you could like whip out uh, a of your selfie so in this so neck right now? I had a dream once that was exactly like this, but I was in a car. You're going down water in your car? <laughs> or like a really steep road? Well, cars don't float. Penguins jump! How many heads does that thing have? Too many heads. It had four heads combined into one. Man, aren't you glad we don't live in the air? Oh, hi, buddy. Ah! Buddy, get, get your own chain. This one's mine. You are a shitty predator, bud. Rude. Didn't he know that you had the high ground? <laughs> Anakin, it's over! I have the high ground! You weren't Spike on your shirt? Like, a, are you ashamed of your destiny right now? No, no. I'm just talking about weird animals. Tell me the I got my teeth spike. story. Tell me the teeth story. Sir Dennis being super into teeth. Like, used to collect them as a child, and the teeth. Oh, there you go. Watch the collection. And like, well, you know, it's good to be super into something, but I used to collect random weird objects as a child. It's like, are My there... My own teeth or everybody's teeth? Are there... Did you find teeth that didn't belong to you, Fred? Right, that, that, was, that was like, are there legitimate skeletons in your closet? Because like, like... When your friends lost their teeth, they like, gave me your teeth, and they're like, no, the tooth's fair, and you're like, okay, and then you, when you ask their parents... They're siblings to you. Wonderful. Uh, uh, still, Wonderful. still weird. Slightly less weird. Cause like I'm envisioning like high school parties, you know, and like everyone's experimenting with alcohol for the first time, and then someone wakes up toothless. They're just missing one tooth. You gotta be, you gotta be careful about it. They okay. Collected teeth from their family. Okay. See, I feel like that's a trade you could do. Like, mom would be like, okay, I'll talk to, I'll talk to the tooth fairy for you. Your dentist mom comes in to drop something off. She's super pissed off. Just a little pen, a uh, little Ziploc baggie with a couple baby teeth. Here's right? your fucking lunch. I'm so pissed at you. Oh. <laughs> I think if their child was a dentist, they'd have dentures. Fair, fair. <laughs> Yeah, I got you the tinctures. You just choose not to wear them. I fucking have to. Hi, buddy. Hey, bud. Wouldn't it suck if like that was just a guy with a little pinky shoes? Like, yeah, we wanted you to do that, but we're still gonna punish you. Hi. Hey, rude. I like the document. I like how cinematic it is. No. I said he tries to get away, that's all. Awesome. Oh shit, he evolved. And then he lost the leg. Death trips is my favorite game. Is that also a gun? Is that Death trips. I have never heard of this death trip. Sorry, I had to take a moment to, you know. Not dying. Yeah. Not dying is usually my goal. Usually it's unattainable, but it is my goal. Death Strips could be a fun, like, narrative-driven horror game, right? Where it's like family vacations where everybody dies. <laughs> Here's it's like a walking... Face your own mortality. See your death. It's free. I've played it a few times. Okay, the blue is from your gun. Stay the fuck down! Kill your face. So what's up with the, the little circle looking icon for when the game is saving? Does that have any relevance to anything yet? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. It makes me think of that um, one with the time aliens. Aliens that experience time different and they've got their circular ranking. Oh, the movie. The, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way because it's dark and scary, and that means it's good. Bonuses. Bonuses. Wait, have we been able to do this with all these doors? Oh my god! Oh, it's so bright. Jupiter. That's where you gotta get more Jupiter. By the way, if you look up the game's playthrough on YouTube, you'll know exactly what the game oh, is. Cool. 
<sighs> Death tits. Okay. I'm done avoiding my job. I'm gonna go work. <laughs> you still haven't finished your... Huh? I told you I was getting sleepy. I am not a great sleepy person. Is this one of those Roblox games? Watch the end, lol. Max Horror. Hey, Max. How you doing, buddy? No. <laughs> Lady Death. The murderer is still there. <laughs> oh, yes, and I would devour your liver. I do have a penchant for liver. <laughs> They're still there. Their livers, yes. Oh, God. Oh. That, damn it, I forgot about that. It's still weird. Is this like a shining thing? No. No. Thought I saw the girls in the uh, hallway. Oh. That, that was over quick. Game of the year, October 10. <laughs> so you, just, you get to the hallway and I guess you die? Okay. Weird. Death and... Oh. No, the guy trips. <laughs> so the, the killer you're there to bust. Trips and falls over. Oh, okay. <laughs> He'll never take me alive, cops. Oh! Oh, no, he was right. We can't can't take him alive. Starage. It's because it looks like the other way was where we're supposed to go, and I like to thoroughly explore things. So, like, they're like, oh, well, you're, you're going the right way, and I'm like, am I? Well, then let's go fucking this way. Because you're not the boss of me, game. You don't get to tell me what to do. Except for, you know, all the times where you totally tell me where to do, where to go, what to do, so. See, this is how you get tennis. I also love a game called Pineapple on Pizza, but you don't gotta look that one up. I... We were walking around a Spirit Halloween store tonight. And, like, we deliver pizzas as for a living. Well, Lex does more. Long story. Anyway. But, like, on Halloween, we're allowed to dress up and deliver pizzas in costume. And one of the costumes I found was a giant slice of pizza with removable toppings so you can customize yourself. <laughs> I thought it was great. She disagreed. Yummy. <laughs> I thought it was fucking hilarious. Meanwhile, they also had a really dope ass fucking uh, plague doctor mask. Like, Lash behind the head. Oh, I'm so, oh, I loved it. I loved it. I want it. Get that. Get a top hat. Put on my waistcoat. I gotta find a good pair of pants for it, though. Love my waistcoat. Oh, God, where are we now? 
You know what? I think this plan's done. Let's just let's just burn the whole fucking thing down. No, no one needs to be here anymore. Okay, so apparently that doesn't open. Is this a dead end? We have to go back down into the goo. I don't want to go back down into the goo. The goo is unpleasant. God damn it. Alright. Realistically, the guy should be covered in fluids by now. <laughs> How do you know he's not? <laughs> <laughs> One of the things I love about games like this is they go into, they take the time to make the details for like your character being covered in blood or like when we were in the septic system to cover in that goo. But because it, it's hard to work out a system for like how long it would take you to dry and whatnot, you just dry periodically over time. But it's always way too damn quick, so all of a sudden your character's just bone dry after being covering head to toe in effluence. It's like, I don't know. He'd still be soaked. Ew! I don't want to neck with you! I'm taken! <gasps> What's in the box? My inventory is full again, isn't it? <laughs> and the one thing he decided to leave in the box was the health pickup. Surely that won't bite us in the ass later. Good job, Josh. This is why you're an actor and not, you know, trying to survive on an alien planet 300 years in the future. <laughs> it's uh, another game I play. I haven't played in a while. It's called uh, Cult of the Lamb, where I've got my own little demonic cult that worships me, and I'm a cute little lamb. It's fun. I'm, I'm not really doing justice. It's a really good game. Oh, this is... So we just came back up. Okay, well... Oh, just leave that there, then. Maintenance? What's that one say? That one, that one don't say nothing. That story just came through. That's how we got out of that place. All right, so let's go this way. I know. And it is pretty good. It is a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with that one. I also had, you know, my Twitch gears that I was trying to keep alive. My wife was one of the members of the cult, and her 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 cult member was a little upset because I wouldn't let her die, and I kept resurrecting her. And apparently, they get pissed off if you resurrect them too often. They just become miserable. Well, I was dead. You're not leaving me. Copy. Loud and clear, bro. Good timing too. I'm getting close. Ew, that's gross. I don't care. Not so fast. See that building oxygen processing? There's a security station inside. You need to get there to lift the lockdown in the dome. Can't dock the tram until you do. I have a feeling you weren't telling me everything. Easy, bro. Just keep trusting the plan, yeah? And keep moving. We gotta beat this storm. Okay, so random nonsense. That's just my brain worms in action, but this always bothers me. We are 300 some odd years in the future. We're a multi-planetary species, and this dude still has a British accent? How is, how's, that, how's that a thing? How is he? It doesn't make sense to me. Why would he? And like, it's nonsensical, right? Because like, we actually don't know. There could still be British accents. More likely, there would be brand new accents. That, of course, we have no idea what they sound like. But, like, I don't know. It always bothers me. Just make people talk the same. They got the internet and shit, right? They're always talking to each other. Accents are going to start disappearing, in my humble personal opinion. Uh, let's see, he said we need to go to Oxygen Pro Seven, so let's go ahead and head that way. Robot! I don't like the robots. The robots are mean. Maybe they should make up a fake one, yeah. Right, that would be excruciatingly difficult, though, 
well, if you wanted it to sound even remotely real. Really, the best way to do it would be to go to a, uh, like a college, look for a linguist, and then, you know, see if a linguist is willing to help you come up with a new accent, new slang terms, that sort of thing. Another tram from Black Island. No, we have to contain this. The tram that just left could be crawling. I'm okay. Kids. Give me the code. Steve, no! Open this story, bastard! There's a character, Hossa Elf, that has like a mix of Scottish, British, and another thing. Authorization required. Authorization required. His name is American Lowell. The choice is yours. That's another thing I love. Is, well, I love I, It's probably because we do it so often to them. But I love when uh, you have a uh, like a British actor playing an American and you just hear the accent fade in and out. Like, I'm a big fan of the boys. So I've been watching their, their new college drama, the Gen V, I think it is. And one of the characters is the guy who was on Sabrina, played the cousin, who had a thick British accent. And I'm pretty sure that's his real speaking voice because his, Amer his American accent's all over the damn place. It's great. I love it. Ah! Ow. Not thing to mention, but in the Descendants movies, the main guy is Australian, but I never knew. Maybe that's why his acting was bad. He kept trying to hide oh, his shit. accent. Please stop trying to kill me. It's very rude and I don't like it. I can't see them suffering from evolving. This is all poop! Hold on, I gotta shoot up real quick. Okay. Oh wow, he's ways away. Asshole. Ambrose, that was his name on Sabrina, it's Ambrose. Oh, hey, we got our health, health thingy I had to use back. That's good. Uh oh. His testicles were coming out. Man, it's all over when you see his testicles. Just pray you never see his testicles. Sorry. <laughs> I'll stop, so he says, but he will not. On average, six viewers. A few days ago, I checked his stream and he had 10k randomly. Man. Now he has settled at 60. Man, I would love that. Even for just one stream, 10k. Go. I think the most. Well, let me rephrase. Well, rephrase the thing I have said. The most I've had that I can confirm is 99. I say confirm because a while ago, my averages were like 40 to 50 a stream. And, uh... During that time period, I was playing Marvels on stream because it amused me. And uh, someone started botting the shit out of my channel. So my average jumped from 30 to, four, 30 to 50 to stream to 3 to 600, just depending. But yeah, that, that, that was my, my biggest one. It was like a single night where I had 99 viewers. But, but a bitch ain't one, sorry. <laughs> it was there, I had to. I don't know. And ten thousand, that'd be fucking. I think I would have trouble keeping up with chat, honestly.
I got six tops. I've done two streams. <laughs> That's really good for two streams. A lot of us go a long, long way with like, you know, years basically with zero. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing this for a really long time. I've been streaming for... I don't remember. But it's been like seven, eight years, something like that. I'm doing extra life for like four or five, I think. I feel like we need to get through there. I don't know how. Hey, I figured it out! I cracked the code. I'm really going to start streaming again. Oh, that's unpleasant. Now, now, you, now you're starting to scream again. That's... <laughs> but no, yeah, I, I've been doing this long enough that I've had, like... I want to say four or five separate occasions where I started building an audience. Before it, it all went to crap due to life. Consistent Minecraft streams bro really insulted me. I, I, I couldn't do that. I typically I've, I've done Minecraft streams before, but for me, Minecraft is more of a game where it's like I'm in a bad mood, life's going to crap, and I need something where I can just chill. And so I grab a couple beers on the way home, sit there and stream Minecraft, and have a couple drinks. And relax, typically with some uh, lo-fi tracks playing on YouTube. It's very chill. I enjoy it. But like, I've never been able to beat Minecraft because I can never stay engaged with it long enough to beat Minecraft. I hey, we found our access code. Building world. Got the lockdown. Copy. No. Nice work, bruv. Pulling inside the station oh. now. Only problem is I can't reach it. The I love survival, but unmodded no Dude, one would watch. The way has access to the level below. See if you can reach the catwalk from there. Modded, hurry, it could be laggy or worse. too difficult. Yeah, that's why. I've never posted a good numbers of Minecraft, but yeah, I always, I always played oh survival. And try to build a world where I'm going to go find the Ender Portal and go to the end, and I just I, I always lose interest before I do. This is fun. I just there's always something else like Destiny, or there's always something else I would rather. Cause I love ah! bastard. I love narrative-driven gameplay. Like that's my favorite thing. It's just about games, and the stories, and you know that's not even think of Minecraft. I just remember there was a robot out here, and now I'm horrified. Vanilla. It seems the trending streams are SMPS slash building slash war stuff like that. I knew I heard something. You're a bastard. Hey, don't you run from me? You little bastard. Get your ass back here. So that's just, I just. I jump games too often to really get into the modding and all that. I just want to build a career playing games and making dumb jokes. Right. And oh my god, would I love to. I want to get there. I want to get there. Really badly. Ow. But honestly, it's, it's, it's just the market's too top heavy. Like. When I was doing 40, 50 viewers a stream, I was making about... I want to say I was making about... Well, and it, it's like that in pretty much every... You know what I'm saying? I mean, YouTube's not a hell of a lot better. But part of my thing is I don't know how to get 
seen. So I have trouble finding new viewers, you know what I'm saying? On both platforms. It's like what I love to do on YouTube. Well, I haven't done it in a while because I can't get any friggin' views. Is I love to, if you're familiar at all with... Motherfucker! Get out of here! I came through the door, I'm supposed to be safe from... Anyway. I love to, if you're, if you're familiar at all with Mystery Science Theater 3000, I love to go on YouTube and find really bad copyright, copyright free movies and just make endless fun of them. Just, it, it's a hobby, it's fun. It's very fun. I love doing it. If you're not familiar with MST3K, I suggest getting familiar with MST3K because they're fucking hilarious. Mm -hmm. But, that's, that's, I love doing that, but I just. I have no idea how the hell to get people to discover my videos, you know what I'm saying? Like, one of my regulars, I'm surprised she hasn't yelled at me like, because I haven't posted one of those videos in so long. She she loves the riffs. Oh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just... Now what you should react to. Twisted. Musical oh. asterisk. Classic. Oh. Oh, it's the soda machine. No, it has, to, it has to be. It has to be copyright free. Otherwise, they will gank it on YouTube so fast. It's happened. It's happened. There was a movie I was doing. It's one of my favorites from back in the day called Robot Wars. It's absolutely terrible. But uh, I was doing it uh, live on Twitch, but I was multicasting it to, to YouTube, and immediately the YouTube stream got shut down. And I got a warning on my channel that's still there to this day. Uh oh. Uh oh, we're out of ammo. I don't think we got his chesticles before they evolved. I have like one of the movies, it's also just fun to find and watch these shitty ass old movies. One of the movies I found was a, like a very, very early Jack Nicholson movie. <laughs> that was super fun to see young Jack Nicholson. One time for nudity, I was drawing a character. She had decent bobs, but they were 100% covered. Took me seven days to get the web. Is that on Twitch or is that on YouTube? Because they're evacuating all civilians from the dome. I'll be on the next train right behind you. I just need to. YouTube. Really? Because there's like a couple of the movies I've watched on YouTube have chesticles, exposed chesticles in the films, like a Chopping Mall, which is one of my all-time favorites. I need to riff that. And uh, there's another one. That I, I did riff and I riffed it live on YouTube or on Twitch and it had testicles, but that's one of the good things about being small is no one reports you. Hey, okay. So it's that one, that one's called Something of the Roller Boys. Fuck, I can't remember now. It's hilarious because it's like, what if the uh, Proud Boys, but they're on rollerblades? And it's so dumb and I love it. Or too long to scrub through. Oh, fair. I mean, with a uh, chopping mall, it's like right there at the beginning of the film. Maybe they get a pass because they're a movie. is S asterisk X survey by Garfield. It's hours long and at the end there's a super boring scene that if you were pissed will get instantly taken D.
No fair, I was hitting him. Ah, uh, crap. God, dogs, please stay down. Ah, uh, farts. Uh. Too much! Damn it. I suck at keeping these things mutating. And I'm dead. <laughs> Spike, why have you not saved me? MST3K is on YouTube, but oh, we did have ammo. Fuck, that would have been super helpful. Anyway, MST3K is on YouTube, but most of their YouTube are just like clips, which kind of works. There's a highlight reel from one of my favorite movies. Weird ass Canadian film. I'm brain farting. Oh crap, I missed. Now we got a little bit of space, a little bit of cover, so we can heal real quick. Oh god, it hurts so good! Now it's you and me, homie! Nope, oh, I missed. Oh, right on his junk. to do an audition for an animated thing, lol. Sorry, bye. Alright, bye. Thanks for coming by, thanks for the I appreciate you. All right, I think we're safe-ish. I'm assuming we go through here? Let us find out! Uh, is this... Nope, okay. time is it? Oh shit, it's quitting time. Alright. A lot of rotating parts in this farm, which is a little weird. Jacob, oi! Over here! Oh hey, what's up, bud? It's not as bad as it looks. Come up. No. That. that depends. Do you want to get off this rock? Mm. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Is it though? That thing's gonna break. We're gonna die. What say? You look like shit. Yeah, I look like shit. Huh? I smell like it too because somebody forgot to mention that I'd be swimming in it. I told you it wouldn't be easy. But what matters is that you made it, yeah? The scissors. The uh, scissors. Oh crap cake. Oh crap cake. Run! Jump dummy! Hey, what are you wearing? Where can I get one? No oh, shit. Shit, bro. 
I think those things are changing. They're evolving. Yeah, I think we need to get the hell out of here. Pip, 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 pip. Who was with the suit? The station got damaged during evacuation. We got our side access to tram. Yeah, get suited up. We still got to beat that storm. When you're ready, I'll cycle the airlock. And I never asked you. What are you in for? <laughs> murder. What? Genocide. You worried you're helping a murder, this guy? Well, yeah, kinda. Well, you are, man. So what? Look, it was a long time ago, yeah? I was defending myself. Wrong place, wrong time. I made a lot of bad decisions back then. Yeah, well, you were probably just dealt a shitty hand. No. No, no. I was just to blame everyone else. But then I realized this was on me. You can't keep running from what you've done. Okay, so our character did something. I told you he wasn't dead. Well, I think he is dead and just possessed by whatever is making all the zombies, but still. I told you we'd see him again. E-L-I-A-S That doesn't work We'll find them! Suit online, health and inv inventory improved, fuck yes! To the inventory, I don't care what the health is I mean, it, it's good, but... So we got a save point, and it's late. It's my bedtime. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate you. I'm out. Have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.